What's up guys, it's Deanna. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time visiting. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. That would help me greatly. We are so close to a thousand and I'm really trying to get to a thousand before the new year. Um, this is our first gift guide this year. This is my first gift guide ever on my channel. Um, and this one was highly recommended from my Instagram followers. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's Deanna Dini. I did a poll on my Instagram asking what kinds of gift guides you guys wanted to see and so many people did like parents, in-laws, um, boyfriends, parents. So this is just all combined a parents, in-laws gift guide. Um, so there are some sentimental things, there are some um, very inexpensive things and there are some that are on the more expensive side. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I have more gift guides coming so don't you worry. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So there's a couple of items in this gift guide that I actually had to go to my in-laws house to film because these were previous gifts that my husband and I had gotten for them. Um, so first things first, I think this was probably the uh, best gift that I ever gave my mother-in-law um, and it was the Victorola Bluetooth radio turntable all in one. And this was awesome because if you have parents that used to listen to records or still have their records um, from back in the day, this is really a great nostalgic gift and kind of brings the family together. I think it's really cool because now these days we have music on our phones and our um, iPads or we used to have iPods, we used to have CDs, cassettes, all that. But I think it's really cool when you can kind of um, bridge the generations together and that there's so many um, fun albums that we can listen to together. Um, I wish that I had albums. I think the one album that my sister and I used to dance around in my room to like years ago was Madonna. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wish that, I think my parents still have their um, records. So maybe that'll be the gift I get them this year. Hope you're not watching mom and dad um, because they don't have one of these. I did notice that my grandma has one of these though. So again, I think this is a really great gift for um, your parents, your in-laws, your grandparents, just because, um, you know, they don't have a way to play their albums anymore. So it's nice, you know, they get very nostalgic, like I said, and uh, just to remember the good times and share them with their grandkids or their kids, because um, I know that when we're older, we're gonna wanna be playing music for our kids that we listen to. Maybe some of it, not all of it. <laughs> The price of this specific one was around $99, but last year I remember getting it on sale. I think it was at JCPenney, but there are probably tons of Black Friday sales happening this weekend. Um, so I would check that out. But they also sell ones that are a little more basic looking and they're only like $40. So I'll link some of those options down below, but I think this is an absolutely great gift. All right, this next one, I have to say, this is good for any guy in my opinion, but noise canceling headphones. These were a gift for uh, my father-in-law because he might be losing his hearing a little. I hope he doesn't watch this either. Um, but he likes to listen to the TV extremely loud. So does my dad. So again, maybe this is a gift I should be getting my dad this year. Um, likes to listen to the TV really loud and everyone else, if they're not watching TV, is kind of like distracted by the noise. And my mother-in-law specifically was like, I cannot have this TV blaring anymore. So we got these noise canceling headphones. So now he can listen to the TV, whatever volume he wants to, but nobody else can hear it, which is great. But also what's great, and this is again why I should get this for my own dad, um, because if everyone is watching TV together and they just need to hear it a little bit louder than everyone else, they can just wear these headphones and turn the volume up and everyone else can hear it at a normal volume. Um, because I know when I'm watching a movie or something with my dad, it's like we're pausing it every five seconds and he's like, what did they say? What did they say? Especially like when we would be watching intense TV shows like Homeland or something and every five seconds it was pause. What did they say? What did they say? And we're like, oh my gosh. So anyway, I'm totally like just roasting my father-in-law and my dad right now, so this <laughs> I hope that they don't. I hope they don't see this. So I'll go ahead and link those down below. Um, these range in the price range between 100 to 200, and there's multiple options um, as far as like 
which brand I think Bose makes them, Sony makes them, there's tons of options, but I'll link down below the ones that my father-in-law has. And then keeping the theme of TV and watching TV, Apple TV is a great gift for anyone really. Um, they just recently came out with their own um, channel, like Apple TV, kind of like Netflix, um, and they have shows on there that are exclusive to Apple TV. For starters, I am currently obsessed with the morning show and you can only watch that on Apple TV. We have an old version of an Apple TV. It still works great, um, but we did have to buy the membership in order to continue watching the morning show. They really hook you in with the first two episodes and then they're like, bam, now you gotta buy a subscription. Um, but I think Apple TV is a great option, especially if someone doesn't want to have um, cable. Like if it's a college student and they don't wanna pay for cable in their, um, dorm room or in their apartment this is a great option just have apple tv and they can basically get a ton of shows and movies that they might want to watch plus you can also link it to your phone and watch it on your phone as well and like i said i have an old apple tv and the price range now is around 150 dollars for an apple tv another great gift that you could get for your parents or in-laws would be matching fitbits we got these for my parents a couple years ago and it's great because then they both keep themselves on track with their health and their fitness um, and you know if it's your parents you really want them to be taking care of themselves because you want them to be around for a while um, so I personally love this gift it's just you know you're not like insinuating like hey you need to lose weight but you're just making an effort to keep them healthy and um, in check with their fitness and their overall well-being. I think it's a great gift. It can link to their phones and then they could also link up with each other and they can see how each other are doing. I know my dad's always like, I think I got 10,000 steps already or whatever. He's, he's always talking about his steps. Um, so I think that's a great gift, especially when we go places like Disney, which we are going in April. There will be lots of Disney videos when the time comes, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, my dad likes to see how many steps he's taken and it's just fun, like I said, to keep them um, in check with their fitness and health and well-being. All right, so this one is a little bit more sentimental. This is a Google Photos book. I made this last year um, when Ryan was born, and I love these because they're just simple and like plain, and then on the side, you could put like whatever you want on the spine. This just says Ryan's name on it. Um, and then I would like to get these for every year, almost like doing yearbooks, um, and then just having them. This was all from our photographer. Um, but just having them as, you know, because nobody makes photo albums anymore. Like they don't print out pictures. I mean, hardly anybody does print out pictures, put them in. Um, and so I think it would be really great each year to give as a gift, um, like sort of a yearbook of everything, all the pictures you've taken within that year. And I'd like to do that for my own house. I think that's a great idea. Um, or for each kid to have their own yearbook each year. Um, so uh, each kid, I only have one so far, but I think that's a great gift to give to grandparents, especially, um, just to kind of, like I said, keep the tradition of having a photo album because not many people do that anymore. So yeah, you could choose different sizes. You could choose different amounts of pages that go in the book and there's different, um, brands. I think there's chat books. Um, this is Google photos that I did. This again was last year. But yeah, I think that's a really great gift or just even like framing a picture of your kid or your family or if you're, uh, if you just recently got married, a good gift is to give, what I did was give my grandparents, um, instead of, I didn't give each set of grandparents like their own like wedding album from the photographer because it cost a bajillion dollars. Um, but I did make my own um, books like this for each grandparent set of grandparents um, and then that was like full and I also did it by family members so I put in like my dad's side grandparents I put in pictures of my dad's side my mom's side my mom's side um, Mark's you know you get the point um, but yeah so I, I think those are just great gifts and I think they are always something that comes from the heart and I think those are more um, cherished than you know the other gifts that cost $200. Okay, last but not least, this is a gift that is probably going to come up in multiple gift guides because I am obsessed with this. Um, I found these in Target for $3. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen these on my story. Um, but I got these little trees, $3, okay? And I'm going to hang little gift cards on the trees. So, you know, it could be like 
This is a cheap and cheerful gift. It could be a $5 gift card that you give to your mailman. It could be, um, I'm not saying you have to give $5 to your mailman. I'm just saying like, you could choose whatever you wanna spend on whoever you are spending it on and just hang little gift cards. And I think this is adorable. These are cheaper than what greeting cards cost these days. So I think this is a great way to um, gift. You know, you could also just give this to someone just like this. If you're going to um, a party or something, hang a little ornament or a little thank you note on it, I think this would go a really long way. Um, but yeah, so these were at Target, they were $3. They have tons of different kinds. They have some that do not have the frosted tips. They have um, some, I think, that are like different colors. Anyway, I love these, and I think they are such a cute way to just spread some holiday cheer. That wraps up my holiday gift guide for parents and in-laws. Please make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and that you turn the notification bell on so you know when a video goes live. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting a lot more gift guides, so if you guys have any particular requests, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.